Okay, We're, I'm going to go over Kermasana now. So um, please only attempt this posture when you're really warm. And uh, we want to be aware that it's, it's quite deep in the hips and the lower back, the hamstrings. There's just a lot going on essentially. So it's important to understand what's going on, which I'll go over in the tutorial. But try this within your practice. Okay, when you're really, really warm, warm and ready, and know when to back off and stop. So Kurmasana is uh, when you're, you're forward, it's a forward fold, a very deep forward fold, and both of the, your legs are over top of the shoulders. Now I'm gonna go over the Ashtanga way where the legs are in quite tight. I've seen people in uh, vinyasa classes do the legs really, really wide, I'll just show you the posture. So I, I've seen people do Kurmasana kind of like this. This is not how I was taught. And um, this also does not feel nice because my legs are right on top of my elbows and kind of pushing them back down to the floor, which could cause some hyper, hyper extension. So I'm gonna teach you the Ashtanga way. And I'm not gonna go over the transition, just the posture. So when you land in your downward facing dog, you uh, move straight into Kurmasana by putting your hands back, sitting back onto your arms, okay, lifting your feet and then sitting down and moving straight into Kurmasana. At the Important thing to notice is where your arms are, your elbows are in relation to your knees. Are they below the knee or are, uh, sorry, below the shin, in the shin area or are they in the thigh area? So if, if your arms are past your knees, then you're going to reach your hands in and around, grab your ankles and then have your feet up about mat width apart only with the feet and have your heels sliding forward. My legs are rolling in here. Okay, no floppy legs, rolling in. Imagine your legs are hugging your side body. The side body is lengthened. And then you can see how far you get here without forcing any pain in your lower back. And relax your head and breathe five breaths here, softening into the pose. So that's option one. Now option two for proceeding into the more, the deeper posture, we can, uh, if the elbows are above the thighs, above the knee towards the thighs, you need to have your shoulder. So if you think about Mary Chasana A, a posture we do there, once your shoulder and your arm are down past your knee, you can probably start to work on Kirmasana. All right, if they're not quite there yet, then you're going forward with your hands. So just think about how the postures uh, relate to each other. So to prep it, you can swing one leg over top of your shoulder and the leg goes not to the side, it goes back. Your hip bone lifts off the floor and you swing the leg knee back over your shoulder. Now that's one side done. Now you flip your hand, be careful here, move slowly. The palms are facing down when you're reaching back and my leg is still hugging into my shoulder. Now the other leg, obviously I can't do that with one arm. I'm gonna slip my palm facing down through the leg. Okay, and then I'm going to walk my leg in towards my shoulder at the same time that my hand's reaching back. So I'm just trying to get my legs to internally rotate and hug my shoulders without forcing them down. And you wanna be mindful here that your legs are not pushing your elbows down, that's very important, and not pushing on the shoulders where you're causing back pain. Now, bandas come in to play here. So if you just go down from here, you might feel your lower back pull. If you squeeze your lower belly and kind of round in, make space in your lower belly and your hip creases, you might feel like you have some extra space to now lift your toes, turn your toes upwards, walk your hands back, 
and walk your feet forward. So see palms down, scooping the belly. My sit bones are close to the floor. My chin and chest close to the floor. And you fought, take five breaths here, relaxing completely. Now the full pose, if you're comfortable to try, you can lift your heels off of the floor. Your bandhas must be drawn in, Uddiyana Bandha, scooping the belly in for that to not pull on your lower back and draw your tailbone down at the same time. Okay, so we're releasing the posture. Try to breathe as you release. Good, so I hope that helps you. Again, be uh, careful when you're trying that. Make sure you're warm and don't push yourself into a shape. Just to try to make the shape. Approach the pose with a really open mind and just see what you're able to do. Okay, thanks for watching.